Good evening, Twitch. How are we doing tonight? I got my coffee. I'm ready for a, a big variety stream Sunday. Today we're doing something super fun as kind of a, a test of some of my tech that I troubleshot for three hours last night. Uh, I'm going to be doing an entire PS2 variety stream. We're going to be playing all PS2 games today. That means every time we finish a game, I'm getting down underneath this desk and sitting down on the floor and changing the disc because the PS2 is way down there. I've got a good coffee. This is my second cup of coffee, so I'm going to shit my brains out later. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be super fun. Um, you can tell by the music that we're going to start with Katamari Damasi. That's how you say it, right? Katamari Damasi? I think that's how you pronounce it. I've never actually played like a ton of this game. I know it's super popular. Uh, yo, what's up? Welcome to the stream. How you doing today? You know who loves this game is Alec. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Alec loves this game. So anyways, let me switch over to the PS2. We'll get into the action here. Um, there it is. It works. He does love it. <laughs> How are you doing today? What are you up to? What's your favorite PS2 game? Oh yeah. This is the Katamari music I know. I've never played a lot of this game. I think I beat like the first level. Just chillin', sleepy rainy day today up here. It's pretty, uh... Oh shit, the sky's red. I looked outside uh, to confirm that it was also like rainy and chill here. But the sky is red. <laughs> like it's cloudy red, it's scary red. I wish I could show it off on stream, but my webcam won't capture it. I got too many lights in my room. I got party lights. That sky is definitely red outside. Did someone say PS2? Yo, what's up, Fom Taro? Do you prefer Fom Taro online, or uh, do you prefer your real name? How you doing today? The Gamer Lights. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of a, a PS2 variety stream today. I've got the PS2 running through a HDMI converter box plugged into my HDMI capture card that I troubleshot for like three hours last night. So hopefully this will work. Ah, hello Prince. This is the king. This is the king. Long time no see. You know, like Elvis. I unfortunately can't stay very long because I have D&D &D tonight, but I saw you were streaming and wanted to say hi. No problem. I'm glad you could come by. I hope you have a great time with uh, with D&D &D tonight. Um, we're trying to get D&D &D set up in the DATCOM Discord. We're going to do some one-shots. It's going to be fun. Are you using a retro tint converter? Um... Might still have the box. Hold, hold on. So I was looking at a bunch of different converters. And, um... You know what? I could probably just look it up in my browser history right now. Let me see which converter I got. Might have gotten a Jan Kane? No. No, I didn't. I did not get this one. Oh, I looked at so many of these things. <laughs> I can't remember which one I got. Hold on. Let me just check behind me and see if I've got the, the, the box for it still. Thank you, I'll pop in here and there when I can. I appreciate that. But you go take care of your DNA. That's very important. You have to kill lots of, what are they called, bug bears? The bears that are also bugs. Make sure you kill lots of bug bears. I might have the box for the, the converter behind me. Let me go suss it out. It's from a company called Level Hike, I think. I looked up a couple different ones online, read a couple reviews. I got the one that seemed to be the most reliable. I have to hand sanitize because I just touched a box and I'm obsessive. I will in your honor. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. Yo, what's up, D Cannon? How you doing today? D Cannon, 
I think today's a good day for rolling. What do you think? So did uh, so did Elvis here. We thought today would be a good day for rolling. Doing good. My new emote has arrived. What do we got here? We got we got Superman. Is that Superman D Cannon Rage? For when you're raging. How many emote slots do you have to get? Is that your last emote slot? How many emote slots are you working on? So does the uh, does the retro tank also like take the component and just kind of like feed it through HDMI? Yo, thank you for the follow. Everyone here knows what we do for new followers. Is we play the new follower song. <laughs> no, I just grab a guitar. I do a little bit of guitar improv to welcome people in. So I hope you enjoy. This is your welcome to the party. Yo, DMac, how you doing today? I need a pick. you enjoyed yo what's up opal how you doing today welcome to the stream any day is a good day to roll hell yeah d cannon one more emote slot to unlock do you have any ideas what you're doing for your last emote slot all good you i'm doing pretty good i'm excited my capture card and the ps2 system is uh is working pretty well i think you asked a question i'm only able to read the captions right now so i might have misunderstood no worries no worries i understand um yeah no i i i think you uh i think you answer the right question yeah the retro tank is like a bespoke made to order component upscaler nice yep yeah, that answers the question i was asking big fan of live captioning yeah i like to do it for uh for accessibility some of my friends had it on i figured i'd try it it's dnd time gotta go have fun thanks for coming by probably have a what the fuck omg emote what character though or a sad emote? You got any character ideas? Let me unmute the capture card. There we go. I have to spend my, like, half hour of saying hi to everyone before we play the game. For that purpose alone, we went to the bother. The bother of making this space. The king of all cosmos. Going to the bother just for rolling a Katamari. Probably Spider-Man or Batman. Batman's edgy and sad. Sp I think Spider-Man is definitely a, like a good what the fuck OMG. You could have like a Spider-Man going like... And Batman, you could just have him like crying through his mask. <laughs> Don't forget your regulars have to delay you further an hour. Yep, D-Max here, so we're gonna get delayed. Yo guys, our question of the day, it's not a stupid one, but since we're on the PS2 stream, I wanna know, what is your most nostalgic PS2 game? Uh, it doesn't have to be your favorite. It doesn't have to be the best one. I want to know what the most nostalgic one is. Like, if you were to go back and you want to feel some nostalgia playing PS2, what are you going to play? Just for that, went to the bother. So, we would like for you to start the rolling. But, B-U-T. First things first, does the prince lack vibration? Metal Gear Solid 2, that is a good one. I didn't play anything on PS2. Okay, what what was your first console, DMac? What what is your most nostalgic game outside of PS2? I'll make an exception just for you. <laughs> hey, does the prince like vibration? Meaning moving and the shaking. Do you guys like moving and shaking? Do you like vibration? No, no. I hate it. Plain is best. I love going all natural. If that's what you say, then what you declare, then you can turn the vibration all oh, PS1, but I remember my brother playing on the Sega Mega Drive. Every time I read Sega Mega Drive, I want to say Sega Mega Drive. <laughs> you say Sega, and then you say Mega, but you could say Sega Mega, you know? All clear? Yes, oh good. We shall see you later. Yo, what are you up to today, Opal? Oh, we're gonna do the tutorial.
I love Crash Bandicoot and Spyro from PS1. I never had a PS1 when I was a kid. Brake roll in opposite direction? Oh, I see. You break. <laughs> I'm really bad at controlling this game. This is not a nostalgic game for me. This is something I never really played. Someone just gave me this game. Uh, one, one of my good friends, Simon, from college, gave me this game. Uh, and I've never really played it. But I know it's it's a pretty pretty good game. Figured it would be fun to play on Variety Stream. You're not old like we are. It's true. I only got my first PS1 in... Uh, I got it really late. I want to say I got it in 2011 or 2012. Someone just gave me a PS1. They were like, hey, I got a PS1. I don't use it. I have a bunch of racing games. I got a, a steering wheel and a floor pedal and stuff because I wanted to race on it, but I don't play it. You can have it. So I have it. And I have the racing wheel and I don't I don't I don't play the racing games. I played fucking Final Fantasy 7 on the PS1. <laughs> I play fucking Final Fantasy 7. I guess I could plug in the racing wheel and see if I could play Final Fantasy 7. I could try it. I've never done it before. Could be worth trying. Maybe I'll do a special stream if that works. I'll do a special stream where I play PS1 games only on a racing wheel and a uh, foot pedal. I only really played games seriously when I got PS3. Uh, I got a PS3 late as well. Actually, I was pretty much only Nintendo consoles until I got a free Xbox 3. I get a lot of free consoles. I'm just I'm sitting here thinking about it. People give me a lot of free shit. <laughs> Every story I have about video games starts with, yeah, so someone gave me this, and so that's why I have this. <laughs> that's why we have a library of games to play. A huge library. Nice, nice. Okay, so what's your most nostalgic PS3 game? Dazzling, we feel a swoon coming on. Next challenge, charge and roll, quick turn, look and jump. Careful, careful with the look and the jump. Not easy to do when you're rolling in a hurry. We shall see you later. Oh, we got the charge roll. The quick turn. So you charge roll and then you quick turn and then you charge roll and then you quick turn and then you charge roll and then you quick turn and then you look. Look. <laughs> I was like, look. Look. And then you can jump. The Witcher 3? The Witcher 3 was on PS3? FF10 was not was not on PS3. FF10 Remastered was not on PS3. I don't think Witcher was either. You're talking about PS4, D Mac. Uncharted Drake's Fortune. So I have I have two of the Uncharted games. I never finished a single one of them. I just got distracted, I guess. It happens. They released an HD remaster on PS3. Did they really? Did they really? I had no idea. And on PS4 too. Yeah, I knew I I have it on PS4. I knew that shit was on PS4. I had no idea they had one on PS3. That's awesome. Consult Google. Who's Google? Who? <laughs> Hoogle? <laughs> oh, we got some Oregon here. Let's enjoy the very deep plot of this game. The capture card's been looking, uh, looking all right, right? It's been acting correctly, right? They re-released FF7 original on the PS4 as well. Oh, for sure. They've re-released FF, uh, FF7 through 9 pretty much everywhere they can. 10-2. And 10-2, too. Hold on. DMAC, thank you so much for the hosty host. Let me give you a shout out. If you haven't followed the homie, DMAC, you gotta. One of the first awesome people I met on Twitch. No, it was indeed not a dream. No problem, dude. Thank you for the ho- Surf's up, dude. Surf's up, dude. We really did it. The king of all cosmos has really done it. Surf's up, dude. The sky full of stars. We broke it. Yes, we were naughty. Completely naughty. D cannon with the host. Another awesome original homie that everyone should uh, should go check out and follow. The host with the most. So, very, very sorry. But just between you and us, it felt quite good. 
watched. Not that we can remember very clearly, but we were in all nature's embrace. Does that mean he was naked? Why did- I'm gonna get TOS for the king's bulge. Are you seeing this? Are you guys seeing the fucking bulge on this king? It's right in the center of the screen. It's like- It's like two inches above my character's head. That's a bulge. That is... That is a very clearly marked Katamari bulge. <laughs> so this is a... What's the rating on this game? What's- what's- This is rated E for everyone? Mild fantasy violence? E for everyone? And they're putting fucking alien bulge in here? What the fuck? The rolling, sticking, never stopping, ever swelling clump of stuff. 18 plus stream. <laughs> this game is ballsy. They're rated E for everyone? <laughs> We felt the beauty of all things and felt love for all. That's how it was. Did you see? We smiled a genuine smile. Did you see? The stars splintering in perfect beauty. The tune reminds me of the Rugrats tune. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got that sound. It goes ba 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 The like the ba sound. That's um. That's a synth they use all the time on Rugrats. And I only know that because I rewatched Rugrats this last year, and I spent so long listening to all the music. I was like, wow, I wish I could get the Rugrats sound font. There are so many good synths in this. <laughs> the song sounds like it's saying bonk bonk bonk. Yeah, there's, um, there's a Rugrats synth that goes like, ba, and they use it for like, ba 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 ba. Yo, what's up, Random Snark? How you doing, dude? Welcome to the stream. Yo, how was, uh, how was, uh, the Tomb Raider been treating you recently? Batman. All rise for National Bonk Anthem. Have you started playing Batman instead of Tomb Raider? I came by one night and I saw you playing Tomb Raider. And you were in a very, uh, you were, like, crawling through a tunnel underwater, and it was very claustrophobic. And I looked at the game, and I was like... If I were in Lara Croft's situation in real life, I would be very uncomfortable right now. And that's about all the exposure I've had to Tomb Raider. <laughs> Did you see the stars splintering in perfect beauty? So many there used to be, almost a nuisance. Now there's nothing but darkness. Heh, <laughs> tis but a dream, heh, <laughs> but a beautiful one. I was doing a riff on like, na na na, ah, oh, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Katamari Damasi, but also na 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 Batman! I do plan on playing Batman after Tomb Raider, so it is a source of confusion. Oh, no worries. <laughs> this this can't be rated E for everyone. He said butt with hearts in the middle. He said butts with hearts in the middle. This can't be rated T. E. E. T for everyone. What uh, what Batman are you playing? Are you playing through the, uh, the whole Arkham series, or are you playing one in particular? I've seen a lot of folks playing Batman on Twitch recently. I saw Chidonian Dynasty playing through them back in the olden days. By olden days, I mean three months ago. And D Cannon was playing through one recently, too. That miraculous, fabulous moment has passed. It's over. We came to and found everyone furious. Even the king of all cosmos was not spared their wrath. Really, everybody was irate. So anyway, Pee-wee Prince. <laughs> Pee-wee Prince. Hurry up and bring back the glorious starry sky. Our problem, your problem, yes? You owe us your existence. I didn't read the rest of that line. Hand in hand, always there, yes? The very definition of the father-son bond, yes? All right then, get cracking. But yeah, the Tomb Raider has, has been good. I think I'm up to like the third act of the story. Nice. Enjoying learning a bit about the historical references and such. Uh, such a note from big Tomb Raider fans in the chat. I'm gonna play all the Arkhams after the uh, the Tomb Raider trilogy. Cool, cool. Awesome. I'm glad to hear you like it. Um, I got one or two of the Tomb Raider games like free, either on Steam or PS Plus. Oh, I don't know. I have to check it out. I've just been so lazy. I haven't played them yet. Or I say lazy. That's not true. There's just a million other games I'm playing. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. 
and back. So, so, so small. You're as small as ever. We didn't notice. Not one job. What with the stars and all. Probably gonna take a few days off to recover from my 12 hour marathon stream yesterday. Did that slept, woke up, now I'm here. Well, thank you for waking up and coming here. How did your, uh, how did your 12 hour, excuse me, I drank too much coffee and I must burp. I have no mouth and yet I must burp. How did your 12 hour go? Yo, Linsha, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? How's Wild Arms 2 been going for you? Oh, yo, I meant to ask you, Random Snark, how is the uh, the affiliate grind going? When I came into Tomb Raider the other night, I heard you, uh, I heard you talking about the grind for affiliate. How's that going? What is that? That badly? That body? That physique? Could you really be our son? Aha, uh -huh, I've got it. Build yourself up while you roll the Katamari. Work out and get bigger. Yes, indeed. Yo, what's up, Jen? How you doing today? Welcome to the PS2 variety stream. Yo, anyone who's just coming in, what is your most nostalgic PS2 game? Not necessarily your favorite, not necessarily the one you think is the best. What is your most nostalgic PS2 game? How's it going? It's going pretty good. I troubleshot my capture card for three hours last night. I went through hell and back, but it seems to be working very nicely now. So I'm I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Don't have one while didn't have a PS2. That's all right. What uh, what is your most nostalgic game in general then? Just not PS2. The affiliate grind is going, or rather has gone. That was what the marathon was celebrating. That and your birthday. Yo, well happy birthday, happy belated birthday. I think it was a PC gamer during the PS2 era. Nice. I was a Wii gamer. Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Those are classics. Those are nostalgia, big nostalgia games for a lot of people. I think I have slightly more nostalgia for. Uh, silver and gold but red blue and yellow are very nostalgic for a lot of people yo can i get a huge congratulations from everyone uh for random snark for he hitting affiliate recently and also a happy belated birthday in chat pokemon red was addictive i feel that way about pokemon silver and gold <laughs> i just keep replaying them they're so fun don't presume to take the escalator up to the throne just because you're the prince Woo, tangent. <laughs> DMAC when I get lost on a tangent in the stream. Woo, tangent. <laughs> Woo, tangent, dude. Surf's up, dude. Oh yeah, Gen 1 Pokemon for sure. I think my other nostalgia games are probably Quest for Glory and Baldur's Gate. I really want to play the new Baldur's Gate. I, uh, I know it's in early access. I know it's got some problems, but I really want to play it. I want Baldur's Gate. I haven't played the older ones, though. Maybe I should start with those. What do you guys think? Should I start with the older Baldur's Gate? Or should I just play the new one? <laughs> I don't know Quest for Glory. <laughs> Baldur's Gate. Baldur's. What's everyone up to today? What do we got going on? What did you guys have for dinner? I had... I had Buffalo... Buffalo chicken. I had buffalo chicken tenders for dinner tonight. It was very nice. It tasted very good in my mouth and it hurt very strongly in my body. I made burgers and fries. You know, I was uh, I was hanging out on Epical Man's stream the other night and I was talking to him about a sandwich I was eating and he was like, you know what? I got a one up you. And he pulled out a, a cheeseburger. He was like, I made a cheeseburger. <laughs> I was like, damn, dude, you one up me. I've been hanging around. I had something. That's how I feel. I had some food at some point. Quest for Glory was one of the old point and click series. Oh, from Sierra. I think one of my professors used to work at Sierra. I think. But it integrated a lot of RPG elements in combat. Nice, nice. The only uh, the only point and clicks from Sierra I have ever really played are the, <laughs> are the Leisure Suit Larry games. Because <laughs> they're just so fucking dumb. Oh, I love me some Leisure Suit Larry. There's definitely some like shit moments in those games. There's definitely like like in the sixth game. There's uh there's definitely a transphobic scene that you have to kind of be like, wow, this sucks. Um, but Leisure Suit Larry is pretty pretty classic aside from like your general '90s gunk. I had fish, rice, and veggies. What kind of fish? Salmon? Did you have salmon, Dmac? 
First time on Earth means no worrying about time. We think we'll come and pick you up when that Katamari is 10 centimeters. Ugh, oh, just remembered. Many things live here, scurrying around and generally getting in the way. Cod. I've had some cod. I tend to have, like, fried cod. When one of these sneaks up behind you, an alert comes up on the lower left. You should try not to bump into anything alive, but don't worry about it too much. It won't end the game or anything, so just relax and roll. Good luck, Inchling Prince. Oh yeah, my monitor finally came. Yo, nice, nice. Oh, we're finally in the gameplay, guys. We gotta start picking shit up. Okay, I fell down here. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. So this is kind of like my first time playing this game. I got whacked by something. Which Baldur's Gate to start with is kind of a hard question. Purest answer, play them all in order, of course. But if you're not already into, uh, into ISO RPGs, ISO RPGs, I assume your, your definition of ISO is different than my, oh, do you mean isometric? My definition of ISO is a, a type of file. If you're not already into ISO RPGs, uh, maybe not. Baldur's Gate 2 is definitely better than 1, but some people feel none of them aged well. I disagree, but opinions vary. Opinions always vary. I tend to play a lot of old games anyways, regardless of how well they've aged, so I, I'd probably be able to see it for how it was when it came out. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm very bad at this game, huh? Isometric, yeah. Oh, okay. Can't set anything up until I can get a GPU. I have bad news, DMAC. GPU prices are only going to go up next month. They're, they're going up. So, if you're holding out for a better price... Uh, <laughs> got bad news. I guess a middle ground, if you're not a purist, would be to play Baldur's Gate 2 and Throne of Baal. You can get a feel for what you missed pretty easily from a recap or something. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. I'm just trying to pick stuff up here. Picking stuff up. This is a good game to just kind of like chill, roll around, I think. I mean, this is, this is what I do in real life anyways. I kind of just like roll around my room. I mean, you guys don't really, don't really see me off stream. What I do when I'm off stream is I kind of just like roll around my room like a, like a, like a slug. Kind of all I ever do in my life. But you know, who doesn't? Are we at 10 yet? Yeah, we did it. We beat the level. Arr. How goes it, Prince? How is Earth, huh? <laughs> oh, you made a 10 uh, centimeter Katamari. Don't we all just roll through life collecting the things we collide with? Exactly. And then sometimes someone bumps into you and you lose a couple of those things. It's just like Katamari. Katamari is a metaphor for life itself. I have to blow my nose so fucking bad right now. <laughs> give, me, give me one moment. I'll be right back. You guys want to see the games we're going to play today? You guys want to see what PS2 games I pulled off my shelf? I want to get people excited for what we got coming. Hold on. Generally, I like to keep my, my lineup hidden for the variety streams, but I'm just so excited. I want to show off what I pulled off my shelf. Obviously, Katamari Damacy, number one. Next next thing I pulled off, and I was talking with uh, Stitch Flicks about this earlier. I pulled off Ratchet Deadlocked. I got this one really cheap. I've never finished this game, but it's fun, you know? I like Ratchet and Clank. This is kind of a trashy game. I got The Incredibles. I might have to mute this one. Uh, will I get, like, DMCA'd for The Incredibles theme in this game? That'd be fucking cringe. Oh, I'll definitely have to mute this next one. I've got the original PS2 Star Wars Battlefront. Not Battlefront 2, not EA Battlefront, but the old original, uh, what was it? Pandemic Games Battlefront. <laughs> this one doesn't have a case. I've got a custom case. It says top secret uh, and then it says some stupid garbage on the case and then inside the case We have the best video game ever made The Bakugan game on PS2. No, it's not the best video game ever game ever made, but it is a good game Bakugan on PS2 is a pretty incredible game uh, We've got 
another classic the simpsons hit and run very nostalgic for a lot of people and the last one i've got which is kind of like a stinky game but kind of a game i like regardless is uh bionicle it's not in its case it doesn't have a case i don't have cases for all my ps2 games yo fizzy flask how's it going how have you been welcome to the stream i just i knocked a bunch of shit over it's fine it's fine how are you doing today welcome to the stream what is your most nostalgic ps2 game oh nice seems like a good mix of classics i haven't even gotten to see plus things i haven't even heard of i hope you enjoy them uh some of them i've yet to really put any time into myself like katamari others of them i've completely beaten doing good just been playing monster hunter rise oh my god monster hunter rise looks so fun <laughs> I don't have the money to, to purchase it right now. I have the money, but I, I don't have the money to responsibly purchase it right now, right now. So I'm not going to purchase it. But that game looks so fun. It looks like it kind of synthesizes some of the accessibility that you get from Monster Hunter World with some of the classic Monster Hunter elements that uh, people missed. Anyways, it looks dope. It's got a lot of cool movement options, it looks like. I would really like to play Monster Hunter Rise. How much is Monster Hunter Rise? It's like full $60, right? I would assume. PS2? I don't know. A lot. Trapped. Dark Cloud. Ooh, I gotta play Dark Cloud. I gotta play Dark Cloud. I've heard Dark Cloud is pretty fun. And it uh, it's passed under my radar somehow for a pretty good amount of time. Odin Sphere. I haven't heard of Odin Sphere either. But it's, it, it's a cool name. It's a cool name. I want it. I have the money to purchase it, but not the money to responsibly purchase it. Yeah, exactly. Um, I have to get a I have to get a new motherboard for my computer. I have to get some RAM uh, along with the motherboard. What else do I have to get? I should probably get a new microphone. I should probably get a new microphone. I have to buy a Blu-ray laser to replace the laser inside my ps3 that doesn't read discs anymore so i have some purchases i have to make before i get a monster hunter rise but we got plenty of games to play in the meantime and i've got other monster hunter games too so i can like scratch that itch i think it's still 60 dollars. i pre-ordered it nice are you gonna are you gonna stream it so you're mostly clear on everything we assume Everyone on Earth is very nice, so they'll be very- Everyone on Earth is very nice, yes. Definitely no assholes on Earth. They'll let you roll everything up. With a smile, yes, possibly also a wave. Anyway, let's go home for now. Royal Rainbow! I say Royal Rainbow when I fucking go and take a shit, and then I blast Rainbow out of my hole. Odin Sphere, some of the boss battles lag out, but it's a pretty, it's a really pretty action RPG that switches you between five character perspectives. That sounds fucking awesome. That sounds so awesome that I'm about to write it down on a piece of paper for me to look at. Odin, when rolling on Earth, there are a few more things to be careful of. Alright, I wrote down Odin Sphere. If I can find a, an affordable copy of that game on PS2... I might actually pick that up and play it, because that sounds pretty fun. That sounds like something I'd like. You cannot roll objects larger than your Katamari. Crashing into large... I know that. I feel like this king guy might be uh, out of touch with the common people. Maybe. Kings generally are, right? Oddly shaped objects will make your Katamari lopsided and off balance. If you're an oddly shaped object, get out of chat. <laughs> Until your Katamari is large enough, you can only roll up moving people and cars after hitting them. I streamed it yesterday. I plan to do Monster Hunter multiplayer on Saturday. I've been playing the solo campaign off stream though. Nice. Yeah, I have, I've always wanted to stream some Monster Hunter and I, I've just not. Uh, wait, I missed the last tutorial message. I was, I was too busy thinking about Monster Hunter. <laughs> Uh, I've got Monster Hunter World on PS4, and I've got Monster Hunter Ultimate Generations, or Generations Ultimate, I think, on the Switch. I played more of World. I really want to get into uh, Generations Ultimate, and I kind of want to stream it, but also I kind of just want to, like, play it. I've got so many games I'm streaming right now, it's hard to, like, it's hard to take some time to dedicate to, to new games, you feel? 
You push your Katamari up small steps. Okay, that's the last thing I needed to learn. I played more Generations Ultimate. I I got Generations Ultimate like super impulsively when it was on sale. Because I saw someone streaming it and I was like, wow, this looks really fun. I want to play it. And I, I did play it and I liked it, but I was just so busy with other games at the time. I never like stuck with it, which kind of sucked. I got to go back to it. I got to revisit it. It happens with a lot of games. I get distracted and I got to revisit them. 10 centimeter, 2 millimeter, huh? It was the first goal, but it's not very exciting, is it? Next time, we want a much bigger one. The thing that you collected the most of is... My, Earth is really... Oh, what did I get? Snacks? I got snacks the most. I got fruit and stationery the second most. My, Earth is really full of things. We will now release it into the sky. Hey, we're gonna fill the fill the fill space with trash that we collect from Earth. Jelly star, we've got the jelly star. Oh, what? You forgot your own planet. Fruit and stationery can be snacks too. Oh, definitely. Haven't you ever eaten stationery? You know, you go to the postal store, you pick up some stationery. You eat a couple bites of it before you pay for it, but it's okay, you don't tell anyone, you still pay for it. Then you get into your car and you just you just go hog wild on that stationery. <laughs> you forgot your own planet. Really, are you serious? So you're not just small, but a bit slow too. As a parent, we cannot feel but partly responsible. Sigh, this is your home planet. I usually only eat it if I have it laying around on my desk. <laughs> yeah, you need, you need a snack while you're streaming? Just get some paper and eat it. The planet where you live. Here, you can look at the stars, save the game, and do lots of other things. You can even visit Earth and the Space Mushroom. Just by pressing the L1 button or the R1 button. Roll your Katamari around on Earth. Visit the Space Mushroom to compete against your cousins. And that's about it. Your smallness, do get a grip. Your absent-mindedness, damn, dude's mean to me. How do I save the game? Data? Data? Save? Yeah. It's the first time I've ever saved this game. We're gonna make a... We're going to make a memory block on the PS2 memory card for this. Save complete. No, I don't want to quit the game. I want to play more. Never did that, but in high school I once wrote a fan fiction. My friends then proceeded to eat it and say it tasted like fan fiction. <laughs> which, which has a very receipt paper taste. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> friends must have been hungry. It was just that good of a fanfic. Vibration? Presents? What are presents? Give me some presents. I haven't found anything. I don't know how this game works. So this is the sound. Constellations. Let's look at the stars. What was your fan fiction about? Is that a mouse? Is, oh my god. That's like a that's like a PC mouse, but I control it on the PS2. Interesting. So we can uh, click this star. They weren't very hungry. It was literally just... Oh, so it was dessert. It must have been dessert for them. It's a very sweet tasting receipt paper. Okay, let me go back here. How do I go to the next level? I don't remember. I think it was about the Suicide Coden game. I've never heard of that. Never heard of that game. I wrote... <laughs> when I was in high school, I wrote a fucking Team Fortress 2 fanfic. What is the space mushroom? What is this? Oh. Is this... Is this multiplayer? I think this is multiplayer. multiplayer. <laughs> Maurice Sendak, the writer artist of Where the Wild Things Are, once got a fan letter and responded by sending a custom drawing for the kid. The kid's mother replied saying, thank you so much for the drawing. Sorry to say he liked it so much that he ate it. I remember that. I actually remember hearing that story. I've, I've, I've seen that. Sendak said to me, that was the best compliment in my work he ever got. He saw it, he liked it, he ate it. One time, one time I ate an airplane sticker when I was a kid. And then later, 
I found that airplane sticker in the toilet, like completely unmarred by my digestive system. <laughs> that was probably a, a TMI story, but I think it's pretty funny and it's pretty related to the, the current topic. PS1 RPG where you can get your own castle base and you can have 108, 108 recruitable characters to your cat. 108? What is it? Fucking Chrono Cross? 108 recruitable characters to your castle. You can sometimes add shops and functions to your base. Hold on. I'm getting all these great RPG recommendations today. Let me let me write it down. Suicide a Koken. Coden, not Koken. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Coke then? Yeah, Wow is right. It was a pretty wild experience. Mogan Dang, Tang, Tang, what? What are you saying to me? Mogan Dang, Tang Holly Po. Have you ever been to the Philippines? We stopped in the day before yesterday. We hope you can visit during the days rolling, like that's possible. Oh yes, a royal present for the hard-working prince. That's what we were thinking while playing catch with your present. There are too many good JRPGs to play them all. I have so many in my room and on my consoles that I haven't even booted up yet. I've got Xenosaga over there. I've got Star Ocean over there. I've got The Last Story, which I've played like, I don't know, a couple hours of. What else do I have? I have so many fucking games. I've got so many games. Oh, Suikoden. Yes, I know Suikoden. Uh, Suikoden uh, game is a series. There are five of them. This spelling is correct. The preview. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I've never heard of Suic Suicide Co Coden before. I have heard of Suikoden. I have heard of Suikoden. Am I saying that right? Suikoden? I think that's right. Give me one second. I gotta, I gotta blow my nose real quick. I got allergies today. I've also been meaning to play uh vagrant story for the longest time i really want to play vagrant story um i want to play parasite eve i want to play all these different games and then i just sit there replaying final fantasy 7 over and over like a fool <clears throat> and then we threw it too hard and it went back down to earth just fell to earth must be around somewhere so roll it up while you're at it I gotta find my present. Sending things to Earth. Let's drink some coffee. I'm in a bowl. I'm bold. Today, you'll be rolling inside the house. The Katamari should be, let's see, around a full 20 centimeters. We can believe in you. Oh, for six minutes in Earth time. We can believe in you for six minutes in Earth time. But any longer than that, and even the king of all cosmos can't be expected to wait. I'm the opposite. I played those games and stopped playing FF7 before I finished it. I did that the first uh, one or two times I tried to play FF7. But the last two times I've played it, I have gone hard in FF7. We look forward to a nice Katamari mini prince. Actually, I, I just played uh, ants. Can I pick up ants? I'm picking up ants. Oh my god, these rats, rats, we're rats. Oh god, there's too much here. I'm in the same area as I was before. I just have to like do good at the game. Oh no, <laughs> no, the rat attacked me. We can believe in you for six minutes earth time. <laughs> yeah, I've had viewers tell me. <laughs> Oh no, I got awkward shaped stuff and now my ball is fucked. Now my Katamari is messed up. No! Leave me alone, you stupid rats! Oh, this <laughs> I suck at this game. I suck at this game. I'm picking all the worst objects. Ants! Ants! We can get ants, right? <laughs> You know, it seems so easy to control when you're in the tutorial, and then you get into the real level and you're like, what the fuck do I do? 
Have you ever played Chulip? I recently got to try it and was surprising, uh, surprised how brutally punishing it is. I have not played Chulip. What is Chulip? Um, there's not like a whole lot of stuff I can- Oh, that was a snail. I tried to get a snail. There's not a whole lot of stuff I can pick up right now. Um, oh god, I can't see. <laughs> not allowed to see, am I? Oh shit. We're- Oh god, what's happening? <laughs> what's going on? Look out! Oh, no, oh, stop! <laughs> Leave me alone! Fucking rats, man. These, oh my god, the fucking rats! This is no longer a chill, hang out, have fun game. This is me trying to survive the rat attack. No, don't knock stuff off. Don't. Uh oh, I rolled up some frogs. I like frogs, I wanna roll up frogs. No, I keep turning the wrong way. Still getting used to the controls here. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, Mr. Krabs. We're winning now. We're unstoppable now. Please leave me alone, Mr. Rat. I think I can- oh, I can't pick up whatever I just rolled into. Oh, I can't pick that up. <laughs> I gotta read chat for a sec. It's fine, the frogs will enjoy being a star. I am a frog, and I would enjoy being a star. Now there's a vibin' on the ball, aren't we all? Tulip is a game about a boy moving into a new time, and is in love with a girl who won't kiss him because he is too inexperienced. So you need to do chores and learn how all the townspeople will allow you to kiss them to strengthen your heart with the end goal of kissing the girl of your dreams. Interesting. That's an interesting uh, a base. That's an interesting uh, idea for a game. It's an, that's it. I'll say that's interesting. Is it fun? Is it a fun game? What is it on? Hold on. I got I to gotta write down all these game names. Give me a sec. I love when people come in here and tell me about games that I have no idea about. Speaking of which, sorry, I just clinked my my glass against my mic. Speaking of which, no, 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 don't quit to the home planet. If you're just coming into the chat, I want to know. Oh, what happened? Did I win? Ten centimeters. Just get it bigger. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, if you're just coming into the chat, our question of the day is: What is your uh, most nostalgic PS2 game. Not necessarily your favorite, not necessarily the one you think is best, but what's the one that's most nostalgic to you? Picking up all these, uh, what are these? Shogi tiles? These are Shogi tiles. I've played Yakuza. I know what Shogi tiles look like. Oh, we got some snails now. Oh, we're in awkward shape now. Can't pick that up. What else can I pick up here? I have three minutes to get ten more centimeters. Oh, I can go up here. That's right, I fell off this at the beginning because I'm bad at this game. I bet there's a bunch of stuff up here to pick up. Oh, I bet there's a bunch of stuff up here to pick up. Yeah, the cards! The cards! Let's get all the cards. Okay, I fell again. <laughs> I, I've, I've fallen. Can I go through here? Oh, look, there's more stuff out here. Santa, Santa, stop attacking me. We got two minutes. Can we do it, gamers? It's a super rare PS2 game. It's reasonable on PS3 Classics Digital Collection. Ooh, if I'm gonna get that, I gotta get that soon. They're getting rid of the PS3 store. It's, uh, it's an interesting, chill game that nobody knew about until the Game Grumps played it. I, there's a lot of games that uh, people online play and then suddenly everyone knows about them. I'm no stranger to that phenomenon. Oh, there's a golfer here? I just saw someone- can I not get this house? What do you mean? That house is so much smaller than me. 
I should be able to pick that thing up. I've got three minutes to gain eight centimeters. <laughs> Time to check the spam folder in my email. Exactly. Oh, okay, one time I made the mistake of actually checking my spam folder, and I was like, wow, look at all this I could be doing. <laughs> look, at, look at all these supplements. It's pretty ridiculous. I have one minute to gain four centimeters. Open up that spam folder again. Oh, I can get the knives? Oh, we're good. We're good. Don't worry, guys. Get all these socks. Get all the socks. Do a charge attack. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're totally gonna do it. We just gotta get a couple more things. Charge attack. Yo, the charge attack. Won it. I feel like Among Us is a pretty big example of that kind of thing. It actually came out in 2018 and people didn't notice it until it became big through streams. It came out in 2018? Among Us came out in 2018? What? I, I think you must be right then. I didn't know it only got popular through streams. I thought, um, I thought it came out and it was just kind of like immediately popular because it was super cheap and everyone was like, yeah, let's, let's play this game. It's very cheap. We can play it. I had no clue that streams popularized it. Although I do know that it popularizes streams. I have seen that effect on some of my friends' uh, channels. Wow, Among Us was out for a long time before people played it. It was free for a reason. Wow, I never knew that. You learn something new every day. But you may as well make it much, much bigger, if that is if you really are a prince. And, uh, we have an idea. If the Katamari is large enough, we'll be sure to turn it into a star. Even if you go directly back to your home planet, you can get home from the pause screen. We shall see you later. Am I, am I just going to keep rolling it? Okay, so I hit the goal, but I can just keep rolling now, right? One of our royal pro- Oh, I got a present? I don't even know what I picked up. I don't even know what I picked up, dude. <sighs> We're gonna get this as big as we can. That's that's what she said. Did I pick up weed leaves? Can I pick up this big boy? No, no, no. Charge attack! <laughs> no, I charged into a wall and I lost shit. I'm so dumb at this. Time's up. It was boring to watch the whole time. We'll zip back to space now. Royal Rainbow! <laughs> Me casting Royal Rainbow in my toilet. I love seeing the tiny team of like three people accepting their award for Among Us at the Game Awards by video call and tearing up and being unable to contain their excitement. Isn't it so exciting when when small dev teams like win super large or like people really super get noticed for their stuff? Like you, you can see the love that someone has for their craft, for their passion, for their game development. And you can see like, oh, wow. It really paid off. I think it's always heartwarming when awards... Here, let me set that butt spot's word for you while I'm ranting about this. I think it's always, like, really nice when smaller dev teams get more recognition than, like, AAA teams. Because AAA teams have all the resources in the world. AAA teams... I know I'm AAA, but I'm not, like, a AAA team. AAA teams have all the resources in the world, and yet they keep making the same game over and over again. Whereas indie developers, they can actually do something interesting and unique with the limited resources. It means a lot. I, th I think it means, I think it's pretty cool. It's okay, but you can do better. Well, since you're the prince, you should do much, much better. Here, this is our royal present. What is it? Guess what? Guess what this is? The thing that you collected the most of is... My, Earth really is full of things. So we got games, <laughs> stationery, and snacks again. <laughs> We're eating stationery. <gasps> we will now release it into the sky. Indie developers, look at the lady who made the Skittles game for GameCube. Who made the Skittles game for GameCube? There's a Skittles game on... Is it good? <laughs> Skittles. Skittles. I'm looking up Skittles GameCube right now. Come along, it's time to go. Maybe I should watch this cutscene instead of looking up Skittles GameCube. 
account is being investigated. Darkened sky? Is this, is it Darkened Sky? A third person action adventure video game developed by Boston Animation with development outsourced to Ukraine. The game was also packaged with Outlaw Golf. Is this the Skittles game? What? 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 It's not good and it has nothing to do with Skittles. It's called Dark and Sky and it's a platformer game where you collect Skittles to cast magic. Ah, I see. So it was, de <laughs> this is my favorite part of the sentence. Developed by Boston Animation with development outsourced to Ukraine. <laughs> She does not use firearms, but can perform magic using Skittles candy. I wish I could use magic based upon Skittles candy. A 300-page script by lead writer and designer Andy Wolfenden was written and submitted to Mars. The planet? Which only asked to change a joke, utterances of damn, and remove all the snakes from the game. When Braswell asked for clarification, they said that there could be snake-like creatures but no actual snakes. What is the story behind this game? I'm getting like a bunch of information about this game with no actual context on the game. Like I have no idea what this game is about. Other than you collect Skittles to, to use magic. Hold on one sec, I gotta blow my nose. The allergies are killing me today. I took medicine today too, they're just, they're killing me. Okay, I'm back. I wish I didn't have these allergies. It's really annoying. So what did we get for presents? This is vibrating. So there's a present in here. We got a winter scarf. Can I wear it? Oh, I can wear it. Oh, you can wear it. You can wear it. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it. Platforming game for GameCube that has an awful save anytime, even mid jump feature. What? Uh, can you like abuse that? Can you save mid-jump and then reload the save and jump and then reload the save and jump? Can you do that over and over and save scum into infinite jumps? Because that's pretty awesome if you can. I mean, it's stupid as fuck, but it's pretty awesome. Let's be real. It's stupid, but let's be real. I love it. Someone, someone tell me about another weird, obscure, interesting video game. I'm in the mood to hear about games I don't know about now. What are we doing? M make what? Make what? <laughs> no. No. I, I refuse. <laughs> what? They probably mean the star sign, but... I, I didn't read it like that flying up to it. I'm not much of a much of a zodiac person. Not much of an astrology person personally. Hey look! King Bulge is back! King Bulge has returned. Maybe they should, yeah, use the cosmic radiation. God, no, they they must mean the, the star sign. They must mean the astrology thing. Um, yeah, they got it. It's a star game. They have to mean that, obviously. Very obviously. I just read it wrong when I saw it. This king has a bulge. Look at this king's bulge. Boatarde. <clears throat> Boatarde? Am I saying that right? Boatarde? Boatarde. Have you ever been to Portugal? We were there yesterday. We hope you can visit during the day's rolling, like that's possible. Oh yes, almost forgot. A royal present for the hard work in prince. That's what we were thinking, but we I've already read all this before. I'll just go get it. Maps, a program okay. Are we in Portugal now? Today you'll be rolling around the town. The catamaran should be let's say oh fifty centimeters. Around a sweet fifty centimeters. We can believe in you for eight minutes. 
Eight minutes. Okay, let's let's jump up here. I can't see anything up here. Just pick a bunch of shit up. Just start picking shit up. You just start grabbing shit and you start picking it up and you, you just go crazy. Okay, well that didn't work for me. I I lost something. What are these balls? Oh, they're oh they're dung beetles. Dominique Pample Pample Moose? <laughs> Dominique Pample Moose? It's a weird PC game, I think. It's a claymation art style point and click mystery where all dialogue is sung off key. Follows a gender ambiguous detective as they investigate a missing person's case. Huh. Yeah, that's another uh, obscure sounding game that I've definitely never heard of before. What is there's a, oh there's a fish here. I can't get the fish yet, guys. Don't hit the wall! Dumbass. I'm a, it's me, I'm dumbass. I hit the fucking wall. Can I get these dung beetles yet? <laughs> I'm like afraid to touch the moving shit. What is it? What is, is that a is that a rat carrying a suitcase? Can I go up here? Aren't aren't you supposed to be able to go up these? Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Hold on. Let me just roll this way. Pick up all this shit. Turn around. Fall off. Okay, cool. We're down here now. Charge! Oh, I charged at the bird and I I paid for it. I paid for it. We're not doing like terribly, to be fair. To be fair. Not doing terribly. Uh, let me just grab a bunch of these things here. Uh, yeah, okay. Can I grab this thing on the floor? Maybe? Looks like there's some stuff I could probably snag over here, right? Games through his collection of, uh, totally legitimate playable retro game files. <laughs> the totally legitimate, uh, playable retro game files. I, I'm, I'm familiar with the totally legitimate, playable, legal, legally acquired retro game files. Love those files. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're almost at 20. If I could just stop rolling into things that hurt me, we could be at 20 right now. Need like one more centimeter. Oh, we're at 20. We're at 20, baby. Can I grab these yet? Probably not. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, look at all this shit I can grab now. Look at all this stuff I can grab. Look at... Oh, what a party. I get it. I get why this game is so fucking loved by people. It's super fun. I can't get the fish. Are you kidding? I can't get the fish. That's the only reason I came back here. I want the fish. <laughs> There's pissed. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard of pissed before. It's like mist, except um, except it's a parody of mist. I actually, uh, one of my professors worked on mist, I'm pretty sure. Or worked on like the one of the sequels to mist. I don't know. Maybe wrong. Pretty sure I'm right, though. Can I get the fish yet? No, I don't think I can get the fish. I'll try the fish later. We have five minutes. Can I get the- I bet I can get the dung beetle. Oh, I hurt the dung beetle instead of getting the dung beetle. Oops. Can I get that tiny rat? Oh, we got the dung beetle. Nice roll up. So aristocratic. Thank you. I tried really hard. I, my camera is stuck in the wall. Are you studying game design? Yep. I went to college for uh, for game development, specifically with a focus in art. But uh, I kind of taught myself most of the, the pipelines, so I tend to program stuff. I tend to do the art for stuff. I tend to make music for stuff. I kind of kind of do the, the whole process, uh, along with help from friends, of course. Like, obviously my strength is still art. But, uh, you know, some people, their strength is programming. And it's good to have them uh, hanging out with me, working on games too. Make it a nice collaborative... I should dash up here. Make it a nice collaborative effort. We're actually working on a game right now, a sequel to a game we made last year. And we've got another person on our team that I actually met through Twitch. Believe it or not. 
Twitch is great not just for, you know, Twitch reasons, but also for making, uh, making friends for making games with, as I've now learned. But yeah, I spent four years studying, uh, good old game design in college. Uh, and that was pretty fun. I don't have a job. <laughs> I don't have a game design job, though. The thing about game design is that, um... Each job in the AAA industry is very, uh, it's a very niche job. They want specialists and stuff. They want, like, an art specialist, an animation specialist, a te don't hit me cat, like, a tech specialist, a program. They want, they want specialists for everything that they, they want people to be the best at one thing. Um, and as I just said, I do everything. <laughs> uh, I'm not really the best at one thing. Oh, hey, we won. Let me keep going now. I'm not really like the best at one thing. I'm the jack of all trades, and so they have no interest in a person like me. They want someone they can get for one part of the pipeline and nothing else. Nice, I majored in philosophy with a minor in game programming. Ooh! We had a few guest lecturers who worked on cool games, although most of the professors hadn't. My engine uh, programming prof worked at Naughty Dog, though. Nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure one of my professors worked at Sierra. Pretty sure. And, um... Oh, one of the other professors worked on Titan Quest. If you know Titan Quest, it's kind of like a, a Diablo-type game. One of my professors worked on Titan Quest, and we actually have, in the library, um, a giant bust, a giant statue of uh, one of the Minotaurs from Titan Quest that we just, we got because <laughs> one of our professors worked on Titan Quest. What kind of philosophy are you into? Helped a friend out with some graphics programming stuff, and his professor for that class worked at DreamWorks. Wow! So, I, had a, I also had a professor who worked at Disney, but the reason I don't like to talk about that too much is because this guy fucking sucked. This guy's the worst professor at the school. Um, he thinks because he worked at Disney, he's like the shit. He thinks he's the shit. He's not. He's a garbage professor. He's always late to class. He has no train of thought. He's a garbage professor. Garbage man. And the only reason he has a job at the school is because he worked at Disney. If he didn't work at Disney, he would have no job. Yo, what's up, Lude? How you doing today? Welcome to the, the PS2 variety stream. What are you up to, dude? Lude, what is your most nostalgic PlayStation 2 game? My main interest was in philosophy of mind. I kind of wanted to do a custom major in AI. Ooh, AI is cool. And philosophy of mind. There was a lot of bureaucracy involved in designing a major. Oh, I'm sure. Damn, I... I wish you could have gone to my college. I, I wish you could have gone to my college. Because um, everyone at my college does two big projects. One of them is unrelated to their major. And one of them is related to their major. If you had proposed a major project, a major qualifying project that was incorporating philosophy of mind with AI, the professors at the school would have ate that shit up. They, you would have had one of the coolest projects at the college. Now, unfortunately, you weren't at the college, and so my project was the coolest. I'm not actually tooting my own horn. We, we, won, we won, like, college awards for our project. We made a, a VR game, actually. It was pretty cool. Doing all right. Doing good. Hey, random snark. I did something a little embarrassing last... Uh-oh. Is it something you want to share? Or is it something you'd rather we not talk about? Because if you want to share it, I want to hear it. But if you'd rather not talk about it, we'll, we'll keep it on the down low. Accidentally left my mic on and Streamlabs was live. I thought I stopped the stream. <laughs> Yo, Steve did that before. Um, I'm always worried I do that. I like double check three times to make sure Streamlabs is closed and the, the stream is off. I always worry I'm gonna do that. Steve did that one time. He got uh, he walked off stream and his stream was just streaming his empty room for like three or four hours. And right at the end of stream, you see him like run up the stairs really quick and end the stream because someone sent him a message on Discord or something that was like, Steve, stop your stream. <laughs> oh, I felt so bad, but it was so funny. Oh, but it was embarrassing. It was it was bad. I shouldn't laugh at it. 
Oh, what a nice Katamari. Kind of bratty, kind of shy. But now that you've come this far, we'd love to have a much bigger, super nice Katamari. We'll leave you to your work then. The professors did seem pretty interested, but the advisors from the CS and uh, philosophy sides both wanted to add a bunch of extra material from their own fields. Negotiating it all seemed like more trouble than it was worth. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's different, like, to make a major. To make a major, there's gonna be, like, a bunch of bureaucratic shit. If only you could, like, do the project. If you had, like, a project setting where you could synthesize both of those fields for credit, that would have been, like, the least bureaucratic, coolest way to go into it. I had a friend over, so I just stopped it and deleted it. <laughs> well, hey, at least you, uh, at least you found out and deleted it. How long was it running for? If you don't mind me asking. Alright, let's get some more stuff here. We're gonna get that monkey. Looking pretty, uh, pretty slow here. Can I get the fish? I want the fish. Where are the fish? Quark. Monkey? Fire hydrant. I want the fish. I don't remember the map. Where's the fish? Fish over this way? We still have three minutes to uh, play through here. 15 to 20 minutes. Wanted to delete it immediately. Yo, that's not bad. Steve's was up for a couple hours. I felt really bad. Uh, 15, 20 minutes. That's not too bad. And if you if you want to put the VOD back, as long as you didn't like already highlight, uh, as long as you already didn't already like delete it. Um, although it does sound like you deleted it. If you just hid the VOD, you could go back and highlight it and just cut out the end part so that it's still on your channel. Which is what I tend to do. If I if I make like a silly mistake during a stream, I just I edit that out of the highlight. Oh, we're picking up everything. Oh, we're getting it all. Oh, the fish! I see the fish! Give me the fish! I got the, I got the fish. I got the snapper. I wanted the fish since the start of the level, and now I've got it. Now let's roll this way, start picking all this stuff. Oh my god, this game's so fun! I get it. I get why people like this game. Yo, the, the lewd bot, huh? The lewd bot. Thank you for the follow. Take out food. I gotta hit you with a guitar. Lewd, is that you? Is that you as the lewd bot? If it is, and if, uh, damn it, wrong profile. <laughs> I'll hit you with a guitar improv anyways. Meow, meow. Oh, we got 29 seconds. All right, give me, let me, let me finish this up and then I'll hit you with that guitar improv. As a thank you for the follow. I've got a giant dung beetle. Hey, can I get these, these things over here? Can I get these? No, I can't. Cat. I got a cat. The cat is part of the planet now, part of the star. All right, dash, get some more shit, get that cat. No, the cat is so close. The cat was so close. All righty, that's it. All right, let's do a guitar improv, welcoming our, our new follower, Ludebot, to the party. What are we going to play today? Play some, uh, play some beefy jams, how about it? You enjoyed lewd bot lewd bot is short for lewd bottom <laughs> how big did we get we got 80 centimeters that's pretty good i feel like that's pretty good we just remembered something we have to do we're zipping back to space now royal rainbow Blech. do i have any coffee left 
Do I have? Oh, I do. It's cold. It's cold coffee, but I've got coffee. Mm. Are we all gonna have our own bots? <laughs> I mean, I just have night bot. Uh, I also made like a a secret kind of like chill offline account for me to play games on with like a less less professional setting no affiliate no partner no bits no subs no channel points no emo it's just like i play games and we talk we are moved to tears by the size of this thing this is so incredible happy happy so happy we want to turn it into a star right now hey we got japanese why did we get japanese food at the top yeah aeonless Yep, Aeonless. That's my that's my fake account. That's my alternate account. That's my account where I'm not concerned about anything. I'm just there. There's no professionalism. Like here, I, I have streamer brain here. I have streamer persona. I'm an affiliate over on this account. People give subs. People do channel points and stuff. So it's kind of about that experience. Over there, it's just about me playing games and talking to people. And it's kind of like, you know how sometimes you really, you're really you playing a game off stream and you really want to stream it, but you don't want to stream it on your main account because you're not scheduled to stream and you don't want to, like, fuck up your main rotation? <laughs> da pee pee poo poo. <laughs> Yo. Welcome to the party, da pee pee poo poo. Oh, is that, is this your account, lewd? Let me, let me hit you with a, with a pee pee poo poo guitar improv. I don't care if they're alternate accounts, because I'm gonna do the guitar improvs anyways, cause they're fun. Yo, pee pee poo poo, welcome into the party. Da pee pee poo poo. Let me play a pee pee poo poo song for you. Thank you for the 69 biddies, Lil Ludicrous. What if I started saying Lil Ludicrous? Because there's two L's. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Thank you for the 69 biddies. Let me give you a shout out. The shout out. The 69 shout out. Oh, now, when I go to shout you out, I type L U instead of, or not L U, L E instead of L L E. And so now it, it acts up. It's different now to give you a shout out. So we were in Portugal, and yet Japanese food is the food I got the most of. La de crust. When you're eating a pizza and the crust is really good. Yo, I love the crust. <clears throat> La ludicrous. La ludicrous. The blowfish star. Turn your hole into a blowfish star. Mom, Stuffed crusts are the best. Yo, what's up, Celeste? How you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Oh, honey. Stuffed like crusts are happen. pretty damn good, D Cannon. There's our cab now. I like deep dish. You know what I haven't had in a minute? It's a deep dish pizza. I mean like a real deep dish. I mean like a real one. Not like some shit you get out of the freezer. I'm doing good. My new mic came in. Yo, have you set it up? How does it work? Is it working nicely for you? That's pretty exciting. Yo, Celeste, if you had to pick one one PS2 game that you'd have to say is the most nostalgic PS2 game for you, what game would that be? We're doing a PS2 variety stream today, so I figured I'd make the question relevant. <laughs> at, 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 at. That wasn't a lot of ats. <laughs> ah, da, 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 da. Yo, thank you for the bitty, Ludicrous. Yo, Steve Hot Prowl. Katamari. Yo, Steve, welcome to our PS2 variety stream. I'm doing this today as a means of testing the... Uh, oh, I didn't, get a, I didn't get the present from that level. I'm testing out the HDMI capture card and stuff. Yeah, that sounds right. 
Is that so loud that it's, hold on. I think that's loud enough that it's echoing through my mic. There we go. <laughs> tiggle wiggle, tiggle wiggle. Yo, how are you doing today, Steve? Steve, if you had to pick one PS2 game that was like your most nostalgic PS2 game, what would it be? Tiggle wiggle tiggle wiggle tiggle wiggle tiggle wiggle tiggle wiggle tiggle wiggle tiggle Oh, also last week I streamed the bouncer for PS2. What is the bouncer? That sounds familiar. That sounds really familiar, but I haven't played it. Thank you for the tiggle wiggle biddies and the at biddies ludicrous. Tiggle wiggle tiggle wiggle tiggle. I've never played PS2? Okay. What is, uh, I keep grabbing this coffee as if there's anything in here. There's no coffee left. We're done with coffee time. We're done. Um, if you've never played PS2, what is, what is your most nostalgic game? Non-PS2. Let's open up the question for you then. Nostalgic PS2 game? This and Snake Eater. Wow, 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 give my life. Not for honor, but for you, Snake Eater. Yo, I love me some Snake Eater. I love me some Snake Eater. Loved the bouncer. Okay, so this is a this is a game I'm just not in the know about. Or maybe SH2. Um, Shadow Hearts 2. No. What's S? Oh, what did I do? What's SH2? Sing it! PS2 has so many. Yo, the PS2 is such a nostalgic console. Final Fantasy X. That's a great one. Yo, you want to see Butt Spot's word become Tiggle Wiggle? You got it, Ludacris. You got it. The Bouncer was an early PS2 game that was an adventure fighting game made by Square. Oh, I, I know Square. Oh, Silent Hill 2. I've never played Silent Hill. The game just rang at me. You have a gold experience viewer point thing? I never noticed it. Yeah, I put on these these dumb fucking shutter shade gla- Hold on, let me dig them out here. I put on these dumb fucking glasses that prevent me from seeing, and I go grab the golden, uh, the golden jacket out of my closet, and we have a little JoJo moment. <laughs> we have a little, uh, gold experience requiem moment. Tiggle W. Yo, Final Fantasy X is a super nostalgic game on the PS PS2 for me, DK. I have to agree. Devil May Cry 3. That's a good one. I played that a little bit last year. I have Devil May Cry 3 on the PS2. I actually almost took it off the shelf to play during today's variety stream. I almost did. God of War. That's another one. I haven't really played a lot of God of War, but I do have a God of War game on my PS2. I have, what is it, God of War 3 maybe? God of War 2? I don't know. I have a God of War game. I got it very cheap. Make a star. Make, make fucking cancer. Fucking Christ. All right, you guys want to make cancer? We're going to make cancer and then we're going to switch games. Boobot. Sega Genesis is Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Is Sonic 3 and Knuckles your favorite of the original Sonic trilogy? I have to say my favorite of the original Sonic trilogy is uh, Sonic 2. I think I have it. Where, where are my Genesis games? Where are my Genesis games? They're hidden up there somewhere. I'm pretty sure I have Sonic 2. PS1 Nostalgia Bomb equals Crash Team Racing. You know, I've never actually played Crash on the PS1. Um, nostalgia for me on the PS1 is Final Fantasy 7. Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank. Oh, D Cannon. I was talking to uh talking to Stitch about this earlier. But uh, if we take out the stack of games I've got here to play today, we've got Ratchet Deadlocked. We're gonna be playing some Ratchet today. Not one of the, the bigger Ratchet and Clank games. I know this one was kind of one of the weirder ones, but it's one of the ones I didn't spend a lot of time with. And I'd like to visit it today. My main nostalgia is the Wii. Yo, I love the Wii. I had a Wii way before I had a PS2 and stuff. GTA San Andreas. Oh yeah, Resident Evil 4. All classic PS2 games. Show me your genuses. Show me your genuses. <laughs> oh, D Cannon. Another one I have to show you that I've pulled off the shelf for today. <laughs> the Simpsons Hit and Run. That's a classic. That is a classic PS2 nostalgia game. Yep. I'm afraid I might have to mute some of these games, like the Simpsons theme. That might. Do you guys think that would get DMCA'd? 
The Sega Genesis or, or Mega Drive, as it was called in my country, was the only console I had as a kid. Got one secondhand from a neighbor who didn't want it anymore. Damn. I had a, I had a Game Boy Advance as a kid, and then I had a Nintendo DS. And then I, when I was like 10, my first console was the Nintendo Wii. And the Wii was great. Yeah, Q Wii Sports Jam. I remember popping that bad boy open. The first games I got with my Wii were, of course, Wii Sports. Um, I got Lego Star Wars, the complete saga. I was a huge Lego Star Wars fan as a kid. And you know what? I still am. Lego Star Wars smacks. Lego video games smack. Uh, and Super Mario Galaxy, which was fantastic, obviously. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy. So the Wii was very instantly an amazing console for me as a kid. Shadows of the Colossus is epic. That was one of the first games I got on PS2 Decan. It was that and Sonic Riders, and I haven't finished either of them. I gotta go revisit Shadow of the Colossus. Because it looks really cool. Alex Kidd, Sonic, and Wonder Boy and Monster World were my nostalgic childhood games from that console. Alex Kidd is something I've never played. Same for Wonder Boy and Monster World, but they're, they're both games I've heard really good things about, and I'd like to try them at some point. Remember the Master System? That was the, uh, that was the one right before the Genesis, right? The classic Sega. Never had one, but I remember it. I remember that one. I remember being 19, beating Twilight Princess in my flooded apartment smoking cigarettes. <laughs> what an image. What a great time. I never finished Twilight Princess. I had Twilight Princess on the Wii, I borrowed it from a friend, and then that friend took it back, so I didn't finish it. And then a couple years later, uh, another friend let me borrow Twilight Princess on the Wii, but then I got distracted and he was like, I need this game back, and I was like, okay, yes, here, here's your game back, and I never finished it yet again. Um, and now, of course, the price for Twilight Princess is through the roof, because everyone's nostalgic for it, and I, I still won't be able to play it, because I can't buy it. You had a master system when you were little? That's pretty nice. That's pretty awesome. You might stream Twilight Princess next. That would be a good way for me to experience Twilight Princess without paying for it and playing it. The music on the master system is so nostalgic. I like the, uh, I like the Genesis synths a lot. The Genesis has like that bouncy bass, those funky synths. I really like the Genesis sound fonts. I'm about to finish another box of ice cream because I'm a fat rip. What kind of ice cream you got, dude? The guy in the apartment above me left his tub running for eight hours and it flooded my apartment. Tell him to get his shit together. <laughs> Jeez, that fucking sucks. Just Dance 4 or Wii Sports were my main games, and some Mario game that I kept getting mad on. Yo, Electric Zombie! Electric Zombie, did you have a good birthday the other day? Can we get a, a happy belated birthday in chat for Electric Zombie? What's up, dude? The 3D glasses for the- there were 3D glasses for the Master System? There were drumsticks for the Master System? Do you guys remember the Donkey Kong Bongo controller for the GameCube? I want to play games on that. Solid day? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Sky doesn't look yummy at all. Everyone is still hungry, yes? Can't you see that, silly? Speaking of delicious, we say crab. Most certainly crab. Oh, we're making cancer, because cancer's a crab. The Master System had the first, uh, console 3D consoles. Huh. Hmm, looks yummy. But no, no, not yet. Patience is a virtue. Focus, we must focus. To make the yummiest cancer possible, all you have to do is roll up as many, many, many crabs as you can find. Let's see, you have five minutes. We look forward to a mouth-watering katamari. Cal Calo Prince? Calo? What does Calo mean? <laughs> Uh, Donkey Konga? Yeah, something like that. There were like bongo drums for a Donkey Kong game. Taiko Drum Master, yo! My, my friend, who sometimes pops by stream, my friend Keanu, has the Taiko Drum, as well as the Taiko Drum game on PS2. I used to go over his house and just like... I fucking love that game. Callow, inexperienced and immature. Me... Wait, did the crab just walk into me? Yo, if I just stay here, if I just stay in one place, can I win this level before the game starts? Because one of the crabs just walked into me, and it's clearly stuck to me. Like, I clearly already picked up the crab, <laughs> and the timer hasn't started going down. 
Yo, I haven't seen Keanu in ages either. I haven't really seen anyone because of the uh, the whole COVID thing. I think the last person I saw was you to pick up the monitor. And then I saw my friend Eggbase IRL because both of us were completely, uh, completely quarantined. Oh shit, Are, oh, someone tell Jen not to look at the stream. <laughs> There's spiders and cobwebs and... <laughs> Mr. Krabs, PP, PP indeed to PP Poo Poo, PP indeed. Oh no, you're not supposed to get rice. You're, you're supposed to get like just crabs, right? Hey, who's getting crabs? You guys, you guys getting crabs? We can all get crabs together. No, let me in. Let me in the crab house. Let me in the crab house. Let me in the crab house. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Can I get these crabs? No, oh, these crabs are too big. Can I grab non-crab items? To make myself bigger so that I can collect more crabs? Add quote, let's get crabs together. <laughs> well, hey, you wouldn't want to get them alone, would you? Can we get these? Uh, we got a gun. What are these? Crabs? Give them to me. I'm taking things from crabs, but I'm not getting crabs. I'm just gonna take him from behind. Sometimes you just gotta take him from behind, you know? Can I get this crab? Oh, I can get the red crabs now. There's no quote 100 yet. There's no quote 100. How many crabs can we get? Get some of these crabs over here. Oh, all of the crabs are running because they know I'm too big for them. They know I'm the crab master. I am the crab master. Master of the crabs across multiple dimensions. I can't get the, the green crabs yet, though. What quotes do we have in chat? Quote 90? Yeah, there's no quote 90 yet. You just added quote 83. So we only have up to quote 83. Quote 70. Is there a mouth on the bun? Quote 69. There's a there's like a 20 second cooldown on using the quote command. So if it doesn't work for you, it's because it's on cooldown. Just as a heads up. Does hermit crab count as a crab I should be collecting right now? Oh, I just got a green crab. I got coconut crab. This guy, this crab is carrying a TV. Excuse me. Put that TV down. Oh my god, there's, there's humans here. This is a person. This person is just watching me like roll up a million things. Uh, hermit crabs count, right? Oh, but I can't pick up hermit crabs yet. Okay. Okay, I understand. I understand. Whoa, is this crab? Yo, crab wearing Tims. Yo. <laughs> those, are, those aren't Tims. Those just aren't Tims at all. Yeah, yeah, there was a... That's what they're called, right? They're horseshoe crabs? I think that was a horseshoe crab. Get that crab. I'm gonna see if I can get the horseshoe crab over here. All shoes are Tim's if you believe in yourself. There's a horseshoe. Yeah, this this dude over here. That's a horseshoe crab, right? I should be able to get him. Yes, horseshoe crab. We got him. Oh no. He fucking ruins our our movement by being weirdly shaped. Can I get the the crab with Tim's? No. Uh, not yet. Let me get this crab over here. Let me get this crab over here. Oh no, I'm stuck. Here, no, climb up here. There we go. I want to get that big crab though. Yo, peace out, Fizzy Flask. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate you hanging out with us, watching some Katamari, talking about obscure games. Let 
Mimir. I still can't get the uh, the big crab. I just want the big crab. I have very simple desires. Get the big crab. Fun fact, Katamari music makes me want to become a real serial killer. That's not a fun fact. <laughs> That's a scary fact. I just can't pick up that crab. I'm, I'm wasting too much time trying to pick up the crab. But I'm not gonna get the crab. Okay, that's fine. We're done. I gotta blow my nose. Give me one sec. I gotta blow my nose and catch up on chat. That looks delicious, but also slightly disturbing. There are plenty of things that look like that. <laughs> it just says, oh, oh, I, I'm sorry. I read fun fact. <laughs> You're right. It doesn't say fun fact. You are right, Steve. I misread the message. I was too busy trying to get that last uh, crab with Tim's. The crab that wasn't wearing Tim's that I said was wearing Tim's. We oui, that looks uh, delicious, but also slightly disturbing. Oh well, let's take the yum yum rainbow back. Yum yum rainbow blast power. Whoa, whoa. -ha. Yes, yes. Constellation objects percent completed seventy two out of fifty four. What? What do you mean seventy two out of fifty four percent? Is that good? Is that like seven? What is, is that like higher? What? What? What does seventy-two out of fifty-four percent mean? What does that mean? <laughs> what a ridiculous way! Higher than average. See, that's how I want to read it, but a fraction and percent at uh, constellation objects over percent completed. So I got seventy-two objects, which is fifty-four percent completion. Is that it? Oh, it's 72 constellation objects, which is 54% completed. Oh, okay. So it's not... So it's not the entire completion. Yeah. I was going to say, we definitely missed some crabs. Wow, this looks promising. This could fill the tummy. We're talking seconds. Well, we like to leave a little room, though we could manage a bit more. Alrighty, let's just release it into the sky. This is an interesting little game. I'm having fun with it. 72. Yep, that's a crab. Oh, I feel it. I feel the cosmos. <laughs> Cancer King scuttling back. I feel it. So yummy. I feel the cosmos. So yummy. What the fuck? What the fuck is this game? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, we gotta switch games. We're an hour and 40 minutes into stream. Cancer came scuttling back. Like a crab. See you again soon. Thanks. Alright, what are we gonna play next? Alright, let me grab the stack of games. Do you guys wanna do a poll? Do you guys wanna vote on what we should play next? What do crabs sound like? Uh, they scuttle, so kind of like... Actually, no. Crabs sounds like... Rawr, 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 rawr. Money, me boy! That's what Mr. Crabs sounds like. Alright. So the best, part, the best part of this variety stream is that I actually have to switch the discs by going under the desk and switching them. But first, I want to set up a poll. I want to get your guys' input on what we're going to play next. So let me... Uh, let me make the poll. It's gonna be next game. The responses are gonna be uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, um, Ratchet Deadlocked, the OG Star Wars Battlefront, um, the Bakugan video game, and what else? We have one more slot. I have to be selective here. I'm gonna say Bionicle. 
I'm gonna say the Bionicle game is gonna be our last response. We're gonna leave this poll on for a minute. Just get some uh, some answers here. Let me know what you want to see. Don't hit your head. I will try my best. I will try my absolute best. In the meantime, we can kind of chill, relax to the music. Yeah, you're ratchet, dead ass. We've got one vote for the Bakugan game. Yo, the Bakugan game is like pretty fantastic. I'm not gonna lie. It's like way better than it deserves to be. It's way better than it deserves to be. Oh, we got two votes for Bakugan, one vote for Simpsons. We've got, what, like 20 seconds left on the poll? Get your votes in now, folks, because this will be the next hour or so of stream. I have no idea what it is, and it came in a custom-made case. Yeah, I didn't have the original case for it, so I, I wrote... What did I write on this case when I was a kid? Top secret. Like, imagine a tower of secrets. This would be at the top. Now walk away, you obscenely lamentable shit biscuit. 